All right, hey guys, welcome again to Firelands and such, and it is time for another edition of What the Heck Is It? User-Defined LEDs. So this is a kind of a nice feature about Simplex. I'm not really too positive with other panels do this. I'm, I'm sure some others do. Um, but this is on my Simplex 4010. Some of you have asked what these labels are. And the labels read NAC1 disabled, panel smoke trouble, and wire room smoke trouble. Now, what could that be? Those are customizable LEDs to turn on in different situations. And you can choose between yellow and non-yellow for all three LEDs. The first two is yellow or red, yellow or red, and then this one is yellow or green. So the way that I have mine set up is this one will turn on red if I disable NAC1 on the panel, that way I know, hey, dummy, you have your audible turned off because I've had that happen where I disable the audible to do some work on it. And then I run the test and I'm like, why isn't my audible working? It's because of stuff like that. And then panel smoke and wire room smoke because those are being actually used for fire detection. So if something goes wrong, I want to know immediately that it's one of those and not just like, you know, it's reminding me that I need to set the time and date on my panel. Which, by the way, yes, I know it is vividly not correct because every time you do a cold start on a simplex panel, which means every time you do programming, it loses its date and time. And to make the trouble go away, I just go to date and time and then hit enter and it accepts the default date and time. So... That's why it's not the correct date and time, because frankly, I didn't feel like setting it every time I redo programming. Same with the Silent Night over there, which is now back up and running, because some of you were asking about that as well. So, let's actually see some of these in action. So we are going to go in, and I did change on this, not any passcodes or anything, but just what things can be done within certain levels. And I did redo mine a bit to make it a little bit easier to use in a pinch. Um... Oops, but here, this is my uh, NAC, one sig uh, NAC circuit signal one. I'm going to set it to disabled. And the red light will come on and the panel goes into trouble saying, hey, your circuit's disabled. Red light is steady for NAC one disabled to remind me, hey, doofus, you disabled your NAC. And then when you go and re-enable it, it goes away. Now, if, say, I were to take the head off this, that will generate a trouble. And you'll see the panel, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully go into trouble. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, your head's missing. And it's still <laughs> thinking. There it goes. So you see, panel smoke is blinking along with trouble until you acknowledge it, and then both will remain steady. And then if I put the base back up, or the head back up, you'll see him go away. And the way that you, uh, at least on a Simplex 4010 or other Simplex devices, the way that you tell what LED to do what is you go in and you tell it to either First is going to be a disable, a trouble, a release, a this, a that, a this, a that. And then you have to go in and set your address point. Whether it be an address point like that, or an address point like one of the um, points on the actual board. So like this is, um, I think it's 0101 is NAC1. And then um, 08, I think it's, I think it's 08 is the, is the uh, board point for my ID net channel. Um, it was like 0805, I think for 0.5 on my ID net channel. And then, you know, wire room, that's 0.1, so 0801. I think it's 08, don't quote me on that. Um, but the same works, you know, in here. If I take the base off, or the head off, I don't know why I keep calling that a base, because it's not. I don't know why it's taking so long to go into trouble. It really doesn't normally take that long. To recognize that the head's gone. Um, there it goes, and you'll see both will blink. You know what? Why not we get every 
LED going because that's just always fun. Oops, I don't need to do that anymore. And there we go. Now we have every user defined LED on. So, and you know, it, for the smokes, it, it won't go on just for like, if the head's missing. Oh, we are not doing, oh, did I put, no, that's the right one. We are not doing this again. <sighs> Remember that, ep that edition of that moment when it's doing it again. We're going to ignore my dog. <sighs> See what I have to live with? Might as well throw the other head up. Well, it's being stupid. So that's in. And so see goes away and you know we might as well re-enable that as well and this guy is still being stupid what do you mean wrong type that's a video thank you guys for watching and as always if I can find my key and as always I'm a disaster and as always oh my god can I do anything and as always have a wonderful day